Disturbing new details emerging today from the investigation into the German wing's plane crash last March. Investigators say the co-pilot who crashed the plane practiced the deadly descent. Lindsay Duncombe now with the evidence that led to this discovery. The chilling conclusion comes from what French investigators found in the rubble. The flight data recorder and the cockpit voice recorder also kept track of what happened on the plane's earlier flight from Dusseldorf to Barcelona. The data shows about 20 minutes into that flight, co-pilot Andreas Lubitz changed the altitude settings several times in less than five minutes, programming the settings as low as 100 feet. It happened while the captain was out of the cockpit. He was practicing the same action he made for the crash, says investigator Remy Jouti. Experts speculate it was a dry run to test the limits of what was possible without setting off any alarms. As for the passengers on board, they would have had no clue their flight was part of a deadly rehearsal because the plane never actually flew as low as the settings. No, they wouldn't because the aircraft was already in a descent. So if you do select a lower selected altitude, in this case 100 feet, the aircraft would have still continued in its normal descent. The report also details what the recorders stored in the final moments of the deadly descent. The sound of the captain banging on the locked cockpit door and the passengers screaming in the moments before the airplane slams into the mountain. It says air traffic control tried to contact the cockpit 14 times before the crash killed 149 people and the co-pilot. An act, it seems, that was not a last-minute decision, not a momentary emotional lapse, but a crime he prepared for, pain, presumably, he intended to cause. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Washington.